everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make clarified butter. So what is it and, and why do we want to use it? Well clarified butter is basically we're going to take some unsalted butter and we're going to separate out through the cooking process the water content and the milk solids and the milk proteins. So the, the clarified butter that's left, the butter fat, is then very useful for cooking at higher temperatures. So if you want to sear a steak or you know saute vegetables over some higher heats you can do that you can use this up to about 450 degrees so that's really great it's just you get that beautiful flavor with it as well and the other thing is is that you can store it in the refrigerator it keeps for like you know six to eight months so it won't go bad so I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm going to show you how to do it right after this I've got my saucepan here and I'm going to place my unsalted butter into the pan. Now we want to cook this nice and slow. You can see it's starting to melt already. Now you just want to make sure that you don't burn the butter or the, the milk you know, solids, because that's what will burn. So you can probably hear all the bubbling. That's the water that's starting to evaporate from the, from the butter. And you can see the separation. You've got the, um, the milk proteins coming to the top, and there's also going to be the milk solids that go to the bottom. And those are the ones we don't want to burn. So we're just going to sit here and wait for the bubbling to subside, which means then the water has evaporated. So this is going to take a few minutes. Every so often I'll come up and I'll just swirl it just a little bit. Now while the butter is cooking away, um, I just want to show you I have a mason jar here and a cheesecloth that I'm going to use to strain the butter in. So I'm going to put it inside like that and then I'm going to pour the butter through to strain out all the milk solids. You could also use a coffee filter as well if you don't have a cheesecloth. But the cheesecloth I find works better. It just goes through quicker than the coffee uh, filter. So carefully pour your hot butter through the cheesecloth and that will separate out all the uh, butter proteins from the fat. And you can either save it for another recipe or you can just toss them out. I'm just going to take this up and there we have our clarified butter. So simple to do guys and just a, a really cool fat to use I think. I love the flavors. All right everybody that's pretty much it. A pretty simple recipe, easy to make, it practically cooks itself. You just have to keep an eye on it make sure that it doesn't burn, right? Keep it on low. Also a lot of people that have problems with eating dairy find that they can eat clarified butter so just something to keep in mind. All right, and when this is cooled off, like I said, I'm gonna put a lid on my mason jar and just pop it in the fridge and it will keep for months, although I'll be using it tonight for sure. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hey, if you have any questions about this recipe, please leave them down below in the comments. And if you have any recipe requests, leave them down there too. I'd like to hear about it. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.